Greetings, my beautiful earthlings. Love and light to you all. So today I would like to share a video with you. It's uh, my take on CMOS hemp milk, inspired by the Honorable Dr. Sabi and all the beautiful people experimenting on the YouTube world with the Sabian ingredients. So this is basically homemade hemp milk with a powderized uh, seaweed called sea moss. And I use spring water for sure. So first let's get some spring water. I usually just get mine in bulk. You could find this at, at any major grocery store or if you got a spring nearby and you'd be saving a lot of plastic. These are reusable. So I'm gonna put about two and a half, three cups in my bullet. And onto the hemp seeds. So we're using, these are unholed hemp seeds. These are whole hemp seeds, see? So if you're using the hemp hearts or the little white hemp seeds, it's just about a tablespoon to one cup of water. But with these, I double that. So I'm gonna, I usually just freestyle it, but I'm gonna put probably about four tablespoons in here, maybe more. To get a really nice thick hemp milk. So we're going to let that go for about two minutes, roughly. And if you have a neutral bullet like that, it actually after two minutes starts to warm up. So it actually becomes kind of steamy. Um, I've actually been calling these alkalates. This is all alkaline, all supercharging. And I feel it's my moral duty to share this with people. I've been, I've been making this transition to more plant-based lifestyle for the last four months. So I've been taking the sea moss long enough to feel that my joints, the cartilage feels stronger. I feel more flexible. My body is more toned and loose from drinking the sea moss. And this is the ultimate, we talk about a, a, a meal replacer. You can replace coffee with this. Talk about a power shake. This is the ultimate power shake superfood right here. Once you get onto this, you're gonna be th thank you later. Because this is good. So the hemp seed should be done now. Let's get it Always remember to never put already heated water in the Nutribullet because I've had them pop before. Okay? You can see it gets see it kind of steamy. Look at that beautiful th frothy hemp milk. I mean, that's ready now. And you can see the unholed hemp seeds, all the, the holes come to the bottom. And so you can drink the holes. They're all fibrous, but today I'm going to make a nice and smooth hemp milk. So I'm actually going to filter it. Now take a look at that color. With the whole hemp seeds, you get this rich brown color and a lot more minerals and goodness and richness in there than just buying the, the processed whole hemp seeds. And I will post, I'll post in the comment uh, or in the description box below where I get all my supplies too, you guys. So you can do your own research and order some of these unholed hemp seeds. Now see, see the holes in there? That's what's left over. I'm just gonna compost that. And what you got left is this beautiful, it's like the consistency of a, a soy milk latte. When I used to take soy, I'd drink soy milk latte. It's just got, cause it froths up. But this is the real deal right here. These are hemp seeds. So I got some more of these actually holes. Let me feed out. And then on to other important ingredients. So I'm gonna go back in the bullet with my hemp milk and I'm going to add the most important ingredient first, sea moss. This is actually bromide powder. It's Dr. Sabi's creation. It's a two to one mixture, two to one, two parts Irish moss, also known as sea moss, and one part bladder rack. These are both packed with bioavailable nutrients and minerals that the body just soaks right up. You take about a tablespoon of this stuff a day, you're never gonna have any kind of digestive issue. I mean, everything starts to clear up after a while. So I go heavy on this stuff. I had to taper up because it tastes a little fishy at first, but if you just, I'm putting a full tablespoon in almost. And 
know, and kind of eye it out and you know, adjust to how you like it. Second, polypore mushrooms. This is what a polypore is, the types of mushrooms that grow on the side of trees like this, like the shelves. And they grow all over the forest in North America. I, I forage this myself, packed with goodness and magic and health. So I grind them up, chop them up into small pieces, and then in a coffee grinder, make my own powder. And there's also some reishi mushroom in here too. Reishis and polypores blended. And this will give it kind of a smoky, chocolatey flavor. Get in there, take, take a look in, at the ingredients, what we got. Okay. And then a little bit of frozen ginger, just grated. A little bit of that. Um, this is cinnamon, organic cinnamon. Make sure all the ingredients, preferably organic and locally crafted. This is optional too. Let's put a little bit of cinnamon there. And I'm using maple syrup today, but you can use agave or maple syrup. If it's maple syrup, for sure, make sure it's organic and locally um, crafted if possible. And you know, just eye it out. You know, you can adjust to your flavor leggings, but I'm just gonna go boop. That's a nice little nip. That's probably a tablespoon or two, but just freestyle. And then, I know Dr. Sabi like a little bit of sea salt, and it, this helps all the flavors pop. So we're gonna take some of the sea salt and just go like this. Look at that beautiful, beautiful bouquet of magic. All right, so let's go in and blend up our, our alka latte for another 20, 30 seconds to warm it back up. Now, see how thick and frothy that is? That's because the sea moss has a mucilaginous expanding quality, which is so it's it's so good for the digestive tract. It goes in and just moves everything, cleans everything out. And you can even put this in a pan and whisk it up, and it'll thicken more and, and warm it up and be a good hot drink, even though it's a little warm from the turbulence and the bullet. Um, well, I'm ready. Let's give her a taste. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. Oh yeah, once a day, I'm gonna keep the doctor away forever. You probably will never have to see him or her again. So, I hope this video was useful. And uh, yeah, would you like to try some? Yeah. Yeah, get, get a good close up of that beautifulness. I mean, that's, this beats any kind of caffeine latte any day, this is gonna be good. And I hope this video was useful and I want to give a shout out. I'm grateful for all the other people on YouTube showing their recipes. If you guys like this video, comment, uh, like, and subscribe to my channel. And perhaps I'll make another video if it seems like uh, it's being used out in the world. Uh, much love and blessings to everybody. Have a good day.